Hi everyone, this is Katie from Gulliver Expeditions. All of us have been thinking about you and different activities that we can share with you to do at home. One of these activities that I wanted to be able to share with you is how to make a constellation lantern. With a constellation lantern, you can do stargazing right from the comfort of your own home. And then maybe one day you can come and do stargazing with us here in South America. So let's get to it. So for this project, you are going to need an aluminum can. I have here an empty tomato sauce can. You can also use corn, beans, peas, anything that as long as it's aluminum will be fine. Just make sure you wash it out and dry it out well. Then a permanent marker so that we can write our constellations on the can and a thick nail, a flashlight, and a hammer in order to make the holes for our constellation. Our first step in making our constellation is to make sure the lid is off of our can and to make sure it's washed out. And then we're going to flip it over. We want to draw our constellations on the bottom of the can. And to do that, we're going to use a permanent marker. Now we're going to draw our constellation on the bottom of our can. Now it's super important for you guys to remember that here at Gulliver, we are located in the Southern Hemisphere and you may be located in the Northern Hemisphere. That means there might be constellations that you will not be able to see. And the good thing about this is here I've drawn the Ursa Major, also known as the Big Dipper, which is a constellation that actually we can both see during certain times of the year in both Northern and Southern Hemispheres. So this will be a fun activity for your kids to be able to do so that in the backyard or on the roof or on the patio, you guys can look for the same constellation that we're working on right now. Step two, we're going to put water in the can. And we're going to fill the can halfway or a little bit more. And that should do it. Step three, we're gonna put our can filled with water in the freezer either overnight or for a couple of hours just until the ice is finally formed. Now that I've taken my can out of the freezer, you can see that it's really well frozen inside. The ice is very solid. And I have my constellation, my stars right here, and I'm ready to make the holes. So I want to make sure that I have a sturdy space, table, counter, and maybe something to protect the counter. And what I'm going to do is take our nail and the hammer and I'm going to put it right here on top of the hole and I'm going to hammer the nail into it to make sure I make a nice round hole. Now that we have our stars for our constellation lantern ready, we need to take out the ice inside of the can. Now there's three ways that we can do this. Either be patient and let the ice melt, or we can take the same hammer and nail and chip at the ice inside, or we can lay it flat on its side and with our hammer, gently tap around all the edges until the ice comes chipping out. So I have here a flashlight on and I'm going to put my can against the light and you 
not going to be perfect and it's a good way to study the constellations and then when you want you can go outside on a clear night and you can try to find the same constellations that you've made at home now remember there's no limit to doing this make as many as you want have as much fun as you want and enjoy the night sky and i hope you get to enjoy our night sky real soon